plus sized fashionista <laughs> hauls, makeup tutorials, lock journeys. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's me. Lala Honey 06. Stay tuned, y'all. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is your plus size fashion and I just seen the Tia's um, review of the game. The first season was um, Tuesday night. Yeah, it was Tuesday night. And um, I'm going to tell y'all what I think of it. I love the game. I was watching it when it first came out and I was so upset when the CW or whoever they it was they were with or whatever. I was so mad that they canceled it. Anywho, one thing I hated, I loved the game, but I was just tired of BET keep on doing reruns, rerun, rerun, rerun. It's like, okay, we love the show, but y'all making us sick and tired of the damn show. We're ready for the new one. Okay, so, yay, uh, so we petitioned and we got them back on. Okay, now, when I seen it, I was loving it. My rundown is, Tasha Mack is still the same old damn crazy Tasha Mack, ghetto crazy, y'all wrapped in one. My thing is, I thought they were going to bring Rick Fox back. Because, you know, last season, her and Rick Fox had a little relationship, a little thing, whatever. whoop de -woo. But to see Terrence J, I'm like, who was surprised? I'm like, okay, what the hell is Rick Fox at? But they said he was uh, on Meet the Browns now. So I'm like, okay. But then I seen Terrence J without, you know, shirt on. I'm like, mm -hmm, okay. Scrum dilly yum shit. Okay, you looking tasty. Looking mighty scrumnificent, Mr. Terrence J. I seen him in a different light. I only see him on, you know, BET looking, 106 and Park looking, you know, really funny, you know, goofy kind of cat. But seeing him in his little, you know, serious, laid back acting role type of deal, and, you know, looking good. Okay, um, Malik. He's still an asshole, as usual. Still, uh, Mr. Self Centered, as usual. That was him from the jump. Only difference is he's not the franchise player anymore, you know, since they got a new owner and all of that. He don't like the owner so well. Now he's boning the owner's wife, played by Megan Good, which I think is dirty. Some things you shouldn't do, but hey, to each his own. I'm just saying. That's not me. Okay, then um, TT, he finally grew some balls. He's not taking no more stuff from Malik. That's good. Um, he finally had a girlfriend, which is good because he needed some. He looked at like he really needed some, some butt. But I'm happy he found somebody until Malik, you know, did him dirty. Okay. Um, Kelly and Jason, it's like, what the hell? Like, I was confused. Like, we know they divorced. She took, she clipped his ass out, like, took him to the cleaners. He don't got nothing no more. And now he's like how all the retired NFL football players do be on Sports Center and stuff. Like, I don't get that. Like, what the hell's going on? And then I agree with you too. Like, the daughter, she looked like she's like 35, 40. Like, come on. Keep the old brick brat. Or at least get somebody to look like her. She just looked too grown. Anywho, yeah. I'm I'm just saying. The mama's white, the daddy black. Come on now. She was way, 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 way darker than me and you both to you. So I do agree with you right there, sister. Um I think Melanie and Derwin, that is crazy because I, I do agree with you too. I feel like with her, she's being very selfish. She wants Derwin to herself. And she has to understand that when they were broken up, he had gotten to another relationship. And he was with Janae, and they made a baby. She has to understand that. That's his son. You can't come between a father and his child. So, you can't do that. She has to grow up and, you know, understand that that's his son. He's going to be there. I think that that was wrong, she doing that. I think she should have talked to him and be like, you know, baby, I feel like, in my heart, Janae is playing you. That's not your child. We should come to conclusion to see if that is your child. She should have handled it like that. I think that was very petty, immature, and messy. 
very 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 messy um and i just think she did herself into a grave she cannot come out she did herself a hole she cannot come out with because i i just think this season of the game is gonna be perfectly better than all the games that ever came out and i know that's setting a high bar but I really think so. I think the first season came out with a bang. And I do agree with you. Those commercials. What the hell? Like. Faded in and faded out. I could have did a better. um, <laughs> uh, Commercials and stuff with my Windows Movie Maker. I'm just saying. Just saying BT. Step your game up. Y'all got Deborah Leo. Bootsy butt. Y'all need to step it up now. That's one thing I thought too. I thought the game was going to be watered down. Because Bob Johnson is not the head chief in charge no more Deborah Lee is and you know how since she got her butt in you know this uncut gone you know all the good shows uh debate uh the BT the basement rap city the basement I mean all the good shows are gone and I'm saying okay what the hell this little show let's get together what what like come on now it looked like a bootleg version of Martin I'm just saying like what the hell I seen it I didn't like it anywho um, what else I liked? Overall, the show, I really liked the show. I really did. I was just like, oh my God. And another thing about the paternity test too, it's here. I didn't like that. I think that was so wrong. And another thing, women need to get it together. This happens in real life. Not on TV. This happens in real life. I see it on Maury. I see it on um, Steve Wilkos. Excuse me. Just because the baby does not resemble you does not mean the child is not yours too. People got to take that misconception out their head. Because my child looks just like me. I have a four-year-old son. He looks just like me. He don't look not an ounce a bit of his daddy. But that don't mean that it's not his child. People need to stop that. Yeah, I'm not saying don't get DNA tests because that do come in handy when a woman trying to trap you. I'm not saying that by all means. But what I'm saying is just don't assume because when you assume, you make ass out of yourself. A-S-S. -S. So, girl, that's all I want to say. You know, I love you. I've been scrapped to you for a minute. And I just want to tell you, you know, how I felt about it. So, I hope you like this video. And your plus size fashion, you sign out. Bye, y'all.